Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I have completed my little Lily Lou and I absolutely love it. I think it's come out really, really well. Um, the drills aren't brilliant quality. Some of them did have little bits on the sides. Some of them weren't quite square. Some of them were slightly bigger than others. So it, it hasn't been a brilliant quality kit, I have to say. Um, but the rendering of the custom has come out superbly. I'm so pleased with it. Uh, you can see the picture. As I say, it's an art image. It's a photograph that I took of Millie. And it's an art, I turned it into an art image. And I just love it. It will be framed. It is an A4 size. So I've got an A4 frame on its way to me. And it will be added to my Scotty wall. But yeah, I just think the detail has come out really well. The lines, obviously it had deep black lines where the art image was, you know, the colours in the background. But there were a lot of popping drills, unfortunately. Some of it is my fault. I'm not absolutely brilliant with squares. Um, also, when they have got little uh, nodules and little bits on the side, because of my eyesight, I don't always see them. So sometimes it will be my fault that I can't um, see when I'm putting them down. But I do persevere and I've... I've enjoyed doing it. Um, it wasn't the worst one I've ever done. Uh, I mean, it was only little anyway. And they certainly weren't the worst drills that I've had, but they're not the best quality ones. There was quite a bit of ones that probably I shouldn't have used. But as I say, because of my eyesight, I can't always see them. So they get put down and it's only when they start popping to the one next to them um, that I realise. I did also do this all as one as well. Um, I didn't do it in sections, so probably if I'd have done it in a section at a time, I wouldn't have had quite such a problem, but I was doing it in, as a colour at, at once. So then once you've done the colour, you're then slotting the next colours in. And as I say, I'm not 100% at squares. I will never admit to being an expert, because uh, I'm definitely not. <laughs> Diamond painting is my hobby that I absolutely love, uh, but I am not the best straight line person in the world if you look really closely at this i don't think there's a straight line in it but the overall effect looks brilliant and um, somebody actually said oh it looks like a cross stitch and yeah i think particularly squares do look like cross stitch when they are finished um they're very 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 similar looking okay so let's get these drills put away uh, as i say would i recommend uh, the company yes and would i get another one from them yes because i think the rendering is wonderful um would i pick out the drills and look more closely at the drills next time that is something i would do as well so a little bit of it is user error as well um with the popping drills but you know certainly it's going to go in a frame it's going to go on the wall and he's lovely he's my little millie mouse with a long beard and a happy smile okay so let's have a look let's get these drills put away there is plenty left over um so you know it, they gave me plenty of drills i was never in any danger of running out which is nice oops sorry just bashing the camera while i get box number one out um, this is my drill storage that i've been using for quite a while now uh well i say my drill storage it's uh, based on the idea or copied from the idea by uh, admores s rebecca for kids at 147 uh, I always put the link to her storage solutions down in my link. I've noticed a few other people are starting to uh, latch on to this and I do believe that there is somebody now selling these boxes with the labels and everything already on. Um, which yeah, just shows what a fantastic idea it is. I think copying is the best form of flattery, as they say. Uh, obviously not if um, they're taking full credit for it, but anyway. Rebecca... We love you. We know you did it first. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can just get this box a bit further back. That's it. And we'll get these put away. So these are... Uh, oh, these are square drills and I've just taken out round. Oh, look at me. Make sure I put them in the right one. Okay, and these are quite good little baggies, so I will keep these baggies. I have worked from the baggies on this one. Um, on bigger canvases now, I am going to put baggies into 
my little tubs but at the moment um, anything that's smallish uh, then I am going to uh, just work um, from the bags like I have done on this one. Let's get these put away. So I've said before you do get different colours with different dye lots. That was 154. And oops, get it there. You do find that you get an awful lot of different colours when you're doing what you think is a black dog. Um, yeah, was there any three tens in this one? I don't think there was. No, there was no three tens in this. So I'm doing a black Scotty dog, and uh, there was no three tens, which always surprises me. But it's great when the colours all come together and blend together, and then you see them. Please keep shouting square at me. Um, I've just been doing some rounds and I've pitted down some rounds so I'm just automatically going to round now and these are all squares, they must go in squares there's say 30 colours on this little painting, it's just amazing just shows the good rendering of the picture I think and the charting that they've done and two, two, four that one put away, nice salmon pink colour uh, yeah, Lily really, uh, is back with me again while I'm doing my video in today. And she's uh, laid behind me watching. She's heard her name a couple of times. So she's having a look at what I'm up to. Three, two, one. Ooh. Three, two, one. Go. <laughs> Square again. There's lots of different ways that you can store your spare diamonds, but and I have tried a few different ways. Um, and then I came across Rebecca's way of doing things, and I owned an art, and then I thought, no, I'm gonna do that. And I've practically copied it exactly because it is just the best one that I've come across, and it really works, and it's just so much easier. You know, when you're putting your drills away, there is a bag for every single set of drills so I don't have to worry now I need to get another bag or I need to number up a bag or messing around I just literally know that it's going to be there when I go there oh let's have a look 414 is the next one so I hope everybody's doing okay keeping safe and well and uh, well, we've definitely well, it's the children's school holidays at the moment. Um, our the kids are always off sort of from the last week of July to about the first week in September. And you can guarantee if the weather's going to break and not be as good, it's always when the children break up from school. <laughs> I can remember when I was younger, we used to go on holiday. The amount of times we went onto the beach with our buckets and spades to uh, play and it would rain. Andrew, I think when you're younger, you don't really care as long as you're out playing. And if you're playing in the sea, it's wet anyway, so you're not really that bothered. And it is reasonably warm. I won't say it's hot, but it's reasonably warm. So it's not like you're going to get really, really cold. But uh, yeah, we've, we've certainly had a few holidays uh, where it's rained. I remember one holiday uh, when my brother and I were younger. Uh, we'd gone away with my mum and dad. And uh, we went away to like a holiday, a holiday camp, a park. And uh, there was a swimming pool and we were determined we were going to go in the swimming pool every day. And even the days that it rained, we went in the swimming pool because we thought, well, we're wet anyway. So. And it was an outdoor swimming pool as well, so it was cold. <laughs> but yeah, we were determined we were going in the swimming pool every day. And we did. And it was great fun. And I think when we were a kid when you're younger things like that don't bother you it was just i remember how cold it was but once you got swimming around and playing it wasn't quite so bad but yeah <laughs> we had a few holidays like that so it's like the bank holidays in the uk as well um where everybody gets a day off and uh, yeah you tend to find that it will rain on those days as well <laughs> We do like to talk about the weather. Okay. Oh, I'm just getting a notification through to say that I've got some more diamond paintings coming. 
Um, I was uh, shopping on my birthday. I did get some nice birthday canvases um, that I've done an unboxing on, which were lovely, that I want to go in my living room on the wall. And uh, yeah, I just happened to be browsing while I was ordering those and I uh, had some coupons and you know what I'm like with coupons and bargains. And I got some diamond paintings that are 30 by 40 for £2 each. I mean, you just can't. Well, it would be rude not to. You've just got to buy them when you're that price, haven't you? And there were pictures that I liked. I only buy ones that I do like. Um, sometimes I'll buy an odd one. Oh, look, that's gone back into box number one. I've got these muddled up. Oh, flipping heck. Right, so that's box number one. One eight. Oh no, it's not. It's eight three eight. Oh, and there's you're not looking at the right numbers. Oh dear me, it's not gone wrong. Oh, I'm looking at that. Look four two two, and it's eight three eight. Do lose. What are you like? What are you like? Go mad. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I've ordered some more diamond paintings. Bobby keeps saying, do you really need all these? And it's like, well, do I need them? No, I don't need them, but I don't want them. And that's a whole other thing. <laughs> right, what am I looking for now? 844. Oh dear. Definitely going there. Uh... Um, I'm another year older now. I'm not admitting to uh, being over 21. I'm still 21. I may be a grandma and I love being a grandma, but I'm not admitting to getting older. Stopped counting anyway. I think after 21 you can stop counting. Nine, two, eight is there. So it will be interesting to see. Now I've got my notification on my new paintings, which I will be doing an unboxing on, so watch this space. Subscribe if you haven't, and then you'll get to know when my next videos come out. Uh, my little subscriber count is going up, so thank you to everybody that subscribes. Um, it is nice to know that you're not just sat talking to yourself. Well, you are sat talking to yourself when you do your videos. <laughs> well, I'm talking to Millie because she's on the bed. Oh, she's turned her back on me. I must have upset her. <laughs> she decided she wanted to start licking my diamond painting. And I told her not to. So I think she's fluffy now. <laughs> oh, what's that one? 9.50. I keep looking at the wrong side of the bag. 9.50, 9.50 is there. So, yeah, she's uh, turned her back on me. She probably wants feeding as well. I know hubby certainly does. He'll be champing at the bit. He'll probably have eaten his armchair by the time I get downstairs. Because he's, he's starved, you know. I don't feed him at all. <laughs> oh, look, I've got one that's still in the little packet. So, get that one out of its packet. I knew there was odd ones that I'd missed when I put my little packets in. But, uh, just keep coming across them from time to time. in as well. Let's say, if these drills had have been really bad then I wouldn't have kept them, I would have just thrown them away. Um, but as I say, they're not as, you know, if you pick out the ones that have got the extra little bits on then they're not too bad. I think these are all the 3033s now. So let's go on to box number three. Right, okay, box number three. We've got three oh three three. We have got some nine sevens in here as well. So I do need to uh, organise these a little bit better. Get them evened out a little bit more. But I think it's going to be one of those things that you're leaving them out. And then I'll, I'll do a painting that uh, has a lot of one colour left or something. And then I'll have to move them all around again. <laughs> so anyway. It's an ongoing project. It's like a living thing. Three or four ones. The next colour. This has been the most You can see all the colours that I've got quite a few of. 
those old colours that have been used in the sketches, I think. That I've but I'm doing a bright moon at the moment. It's like a, an evening moon, but it's got lots of pinks and purples. And I do think, strangely enough, it does lift your mood more. Um, doing brighter colours, brighter colours just make me smile a bit more. I'll be, I do like doing my Scotties because I love Scotties. Um, as you've probably gathered, I love my Scotty dogs. I love all dogs, but I do love my Scotties. So, uh, yeah, they do make me smile as they're coming together. And uh, ready to get framed and put on the wall. 3689. Three threes are at that side, so 3689 is there. So, yeah, Quite a few paintings now, various scotches. I've got my lovely custom to do, my lovely big custom to do. Uh, I am going to kit that one up as well. It is in baggies, but I am going to kit it up to do it because I am finding that it's easier at the moment with stopping and starting um, and keeping things safe because I am very clumsy. <laughs> and if it's a painting that I'm going to be doing for a while, which this one is, it's a 40 by 40 square, so I did an unboxing of it, I think it launched last week, um, then I do need to be keeping them safe, okay, 3747, and I am going to have a go at Mindy, and Mysteria, Mindy's Diamond Moments and Mysteria Diamonds, I do believe are doing a smashing the specials challenge and i'm going to have a go at doing that as well so i'll be doing those in between doing other projects three 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 two eight that one's got in the wrong side hasn't it? not quite in the right order these that's definitely three three two eight yeah. as long as i put them in the right bags then that's what matters <laughs> And if I put them in the wrong bags, well, I'll get to them eventually. Okay, I've got my book. Um, bought one of those uh, books that have the DMC numbers in. And uh, I've got to stick all the little gems next to the numbers on that one. And I'll show you that one when I get that done. Oops, 27, 28. I've gone back to 25, so it's 3743. Yeah, they've just slipped under one another. I've been doing this. Um, I'll put the details off this canvas down below. I mean, it was a, a bargain canvas. I did use a coupon for this one. Surprise, surprise. I do sometimes buy them that aren't on special offer, honest. <laughs> and 3830. Let's see. 3830. Okay. One. Just a nice rusty colour. Okay. That one put away there. Three eight three zero. Three eight six zero. That one. That one. Gonna have to get that washing put on, but it's gonna have to dry on the dryer I think it's not going to be able to go out because it looks like it's just starting to rain here so that's not good we won't be going outside on the washing line anytime soon it is nice washing out on a washing line always smells a bit different it's a bit softer as well 3861 last but one to do 3861 is that one there you are. Three eight six one. I've got a big pile of bags here now. <laughs> and three eight six three. That's the last one. Let's get that one put in there. And then that's these all put away. Okay. So that's that one that's ready to be used again for another one okay 
that's those put away there. Let me just pop that back on my shelf over there. Whew, nearly dropped it then. <laughs> I was going to drop the box and then we're going to go everywhere. Right, I'm just going to uh, put this canvas ready because my frame is on its way. So hopefully it will be here shortly. Uh, good old Amazon again. As I say, this will just fit nicely into an A4 frame. So all I do is just literally cut along the diamonds. Uh, you may find that put those bags over there a second. You may find that your scissors do get a little bit sticky um, from particularly double-sided tape. Um, but just use a bit of goo gun or a bit of white spirit or something to clean them. Um, just cut along these edges. I have got washi tape on this as well, so it's uh, going to be a bit easier to cut the other two edges. I'm going to keep this legend because it will go in my book. And I'm just going to cut down this edge to get the sticky off because I don't want the sticky in my book. Otherwise I won't be able to open my pages. Uh, I'll just keep the bottom bit there as well, so that will go in my log book. And this sheet code here that they sent me, not really a, well I suppose it is an inventory sheet, it's got your quantity there if you want to add them up. And um, they will go into my little log book as well, these bits will go in the bin. And just cut down. What I tend to do is cut the smaller edges first, so then you've not got as much to cut on your longer edges, if that makes sense. Okay, try and keep it as much up to the diamonds as possible and as straight as possible. You can always trim off the little edges if you need to. Okay, that's that edge. I'm not going to reuse my washi. Uh, you can do if you're really careful and peel it off. You can reuse washi tape, but I'm not going to in this instance. Okay. Just cut this. On this side, just keep going. Just missed a little bit there, but let's see how we go when we. Create. I tend to put all of my uh, diamond paintings. It depends. I've not put any edges on any of them yet, or mounted them with like a proper picture mount at all yet. Um, I am finding just to put a piece of black um, card at the back just lets them pop a bit but then most of mine as I say that I've framed have been um, dog pictures Scotty dog pictures so the black does just tend to enhance it and most of my frames have been like grey and white so the black and white does tend to just enhance the picture in the middle I think when you've worked a lot on a picture um, you can complement your picture sometimes with your frame but you don't want anything too on it to take away from all the work that you've done Okay, so that is that one all nicely cut out and ready. So as soon as my frame comes, that will go in my frame and go on my wall. I've got these ready to go in my little log book. And oops, in fact, I'll just, they want to stick it in, but I'll just put them loosely in for now. This is my log book. I diamond paint so I don't kill people. I am just using this one up first and then I will start on the, my new one from Rebecca. Okay, so I'll get that all written up and done in a bit while I'm off camera because you don't want to see my writing, it's appalling. Okay, well that's all kitted down and put away. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing this. Um, I will do uh, a photograph or a picture of something on my Scotty wall um, and possibly do a craft room tour as well. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching this. If you have, if you just give me a little like and if you want to see uh, a bit more, whoops press that subscribe button uh, and the little bell next to it just means that you'll be notified when all my next videos come out. Thanks for stopping by and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.